In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up and connect to popular Google Workspace tools like Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive, and Google Docs. So to get started, go down to the MCP menu here and you can see I've got a number of different MCPs already installed. So click Manage Connections and this will load up the MCP store. And under Productivity, you'll find most of the Google Suite. So let's start here with Google Calendar. We'll install Google Calendar. And then we need to set up our first connection to Google Calendar. Now, the great thing about this MCP is you can connect to multiple Google accounts. So if you have a personal and a work account, you can label them accordingly. So I'll put in here, uh, this is my SIM theory account. And then I'll enter the email in to connect and then I'll click request access. Now this is a temporary step for the OAuth process just because we need to get our app approved by Google in order to go through the normal authentication process. So maybe by the time you watch this video, we'll have been approved and you won't have to go through this step. So in another window here, I'm just connecting into using the Google sign in um, and just approving the application and allowing the correct permissions. Once you've done that, it'll say authentication successful. And then if you go back here, you'll see that it starts to create the Google Calendar MCP server. And so you could go ahead and add another connection. And during this request phase, you may have to wait a little bit for us to approve the connection because we need to allow you to go on to basically a developer account until we're approved. But once that's all over, you'll just be able to seamlessly connect to this stuff. So while that's working away, let's look at Gmail now. I'll install that as well. Uh, and then I can go down here and put in that same email address for Gmail. And again, we'll get our authentication screen coming up here. We'll need to approve the correct permissions through the Google OAuth user interface. Uh, this one is now successful so let's go back here and you'll see that it starts to create the server so let's look at drive as well here so we'll go in and install google drive and i'll also put in the email the same email my sim theory email here and again it's just the same process that um, i've taken you through each time so we go through we allow the permissions in here and then it'll pend authentication start to create the server because I've already been approved. Um, so once you've done that, you'll see that these MCPs will show up now. So we've got Google Drive, Gmail, Google Calendar. You can also add Google Docs, which I added earlier as well. Um, and then you'll be able to access uh, any of these files in the uh, Google Drive. So I can say, um, what is on my Google Calendar today? And you'll see it retrieves the events for August 3rd, which is today. Okay, so you can see I've got a block in my calendar from five till eight, which I think I might have in there every day. I'll say now add an event to walk my dog at 3 p.m. for 30 minutes. Okay, so it created the walk the dog event at August on August 3, 2025. So that's been added to my schedule. Okay, and just to prove we didn't cheat here, we can now go over to my actual calendar. You'll see that block that it picked up on earlier before. And I have walked the dog in for 3 p.m. today. So that's just a quick look at how to connect to Gmail, Google Drive, Google Calendar, uh, and also Google Docs. It's all the same process. Make sure you have the MCPs enabled down here. If you want to know how you can actually use them, just press this question mark and you'll actually get sample prompts of how to use the different MCPs and you can click on them and it'll insert them into the composer below just to help you out and get you familiar with using them. They also work together as well so you can get it to uh, read your email and then go and schedule or create calendar appointments including inviting people as well. They're really helpful productivity tools to have. And of course, if you use the Microsoft suite as well, you can also connect to those um, but the Google MCP integrations are a fantastic workflow and a great place to start. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please do click the like button on YouTube. It helps the channel out. Uh, and leave me a comment below. Is there any other videos or walkthroughs you'd like to see on different MCPs? Thanks for watching.